hello everyone so in this video today we will be talking about inflammation okay so we will be talking about the basic concepts of inflammation inflammation basic concepts okay so what is inflammation the first thing comes to our mind is that what is inflammation when we talk about inflammation we are talking about the basic concepts right so immediately aapko mind mein aayega ki what is inflammation it is the response since seen in vascularized connective tissue it is the response shown by our body huh? seen in vascularized connective tissue okay it is the response seen in vascularized connective tissue jo hum vascularized connective tissue mein uh, jo response dekhte hain after some injury or after some attack from a foreign antigen bahar se kuch humko problem hota hai jaise thorn prick ho gaya hai aapko theek hai so immediately you see what blood pulling into your fingers okay so redness ho jata hai waha pe then uh, certain chemicals waha pe aa jate hai so what is this this after that kya hota hai redness ho jata hai fir thoda kya hota hai phul jata hai kuch samay ke liye then there is some pain so what are what are all those things these are all the symptoms of inflammation okay so inflammation it is the response seen in vascularized vascularized means blood containing vessels and connective tissue okay so inflammation is the response seen in vascularized connective tissue okay so whenever there is an injury okay there is an injury aapko koi injury hua hai so what how does the body response response of body can be divided into two co components okay one is change in blood vessels and the other in other is change in cells okay that is the connective tissue okay तो यहाँ पे क्या होता है जब आपको कोई इंजरी होता है ठीक है देन द बॉडी हाउ डज इट रेस्पॉन्स इट रेस्पॉन्स विद चेंज इन ब्लड वेसल्स एंड चेंज इन द सेल्स सेल्स में चेंज आता है और ब्लड वेसल में चेंज आता है तो देर इज चेंज इन ब्लड वेसल वेसल्स एंड चेंज इन द सेल्स ओके रेस्पॉन्स द जो रेस्पॉन्स होता है यूजली प्रोटेक्टिव बट समाइम्स हार्मफुल सो द रेस्पॉन्स शोन बाई द बॉडी रेस्पॉन्स इज यूजली प्रोटेक्टिव बट समाइम्स समाइम्स हार्मफुल ओके ठीक है ठीक है फिर क्या करते हैं हम वी स्टडी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन ओके तो क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन में एक क्वेश्चन आता है विच इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन तो इसका आंसर है कैथरल इन्फ्लेमेशन इन्फ्लेमेशन लाइक नाउ वी विल बी आस्किंग व्हाट इज कैथरल इन्फ्लेमेशन हम बोल तो दिया कैथरल इन्फ्लेमेशन नाउ प्लीज टेल अस About cataral inflammation. What is cataral inflammation? So cataral inflammation is the inflammation of the body cavities and mucous membranes. Body cavities like sinuses. Body cavities like sinuses. Our maxillary sinus will be so slow. Sinuses and mucous membrane. Okay. so that is catarrhal inflammation to humko pata hi hai every day every now and then we are suffering from catarrhal inflammation okay hamara body cavities like sinuses mein hamesha kuch na kuch problem hote rehta i myself have been a patient of sinusitis for a long time so i know it very well ki like how do we suffer na from this thing 
so cataract inflammation is the most common type of inflammation now let's see the subtypes of inflammation number one is acute inflammation okay and number two is chronic inflammation okay so acute inflammation is of short duration okay and neutrophils are involved okay so kya hota hai when there is inflammation uh, there is inflammation the wbc's the leukocytes the leukocytes the wbc's come into picture okay now in case of acute inflammation there are the defined WBCs coming into picture and in case of chronic inflammation there are defined WBCs which come into picture so in case of acute inflammation neutrophils are the one which are involved and in case of chronic inflammation aapka mononuclear WBCs mononuclear WBCs what does mononuclear means one nucleus okay like lymphocytes and monocytes come into picture so this is an mcq okay it keeps on being asked okay that neutrophils acute inflammation may upco neutrophils dikhai deta hai and neutrophils is how do we identify it is multi lobed okay aise hota hai multi lobed means yeah multi lobed and multi multi nuclear also theek hai to neutrophils acute inflammation chronic inflammation is mononuclear wbc lymphocyte monocyte okay so chronic inflammation kya hota hai it is of long duration okay and it includes the mononuclear wbc such as lymphocytes and your monocyte now cardinal features of inflammation me so cardinal features of inflammation was given by a gentleman named celsus okay so what are the cardinal features he gave number one he gave rubber okay i'll tell you what is rubber number two he gave color okay number three he gave tumor and number four he gave dollar okay so rubber is what it is the redness okay and color is what it is the increase in temperature okay tumor is what it is the swelling okay and dolor is what it is the pain so whenever there is inflammation aapko koi injury hota hai so you remember the last time you got some injury any type of injury you have seen that aapka sharir mein kya hua hai there is some redness okay then you have also seen that oh immediately some fever arises so increase in temperature how do we check increase in temperature with the back of our hand okay jo part hum check kar rahe hain we touch that part with the back of our hand and then we check with the part which is normal theek hai so that's the way we check um, temperature so when they, whenever there is inflammation we see redness then we see increase in temperature we see tumor tumor meaning swelling okay we see swelling and we also feel pain so these four cardinal sign was given by celsus but there was another gentleman by the name of virchow and he described something known as loss of function and he termed it this as functio lesha okay so whenever there is inflammation kya hota hai there is aapko kya hota hai loss of function and of that body part and that is known as your functio lesha okay fine now we will be talking about acute inflammation in detail okay so 
acute inflammation one ke baad what do we see the vascular changes that means the changes in the blood vessels okay what we see number 1 vaso constriction vaso constriction okay to vaso constriction kya hota hai reduction in the diameter of the blood vessel and why does it happen to decrease the blood flow okay it is a mechanism to decrease the blood flow so kya hai vasoconstriction is the first change in blood vessels during inflammation okay ठीक है, this is the first change, so you have to remember. Then after vessel constriction, what happens? Vessel dilation, okay? And it is primarily caused by histamine, okay? It is primarily caused by histamine. तो इसमें क्या होता है? See, this is the normal blood vessel, okay? This is the blood flowing. But in case of vasodilation, what happens like this? Okay, it becomes like this. Okay, and then there is increase in blood flow. Okay, and then there is increase in redness. So number three change kya hai? Number three is your increase in vascular permeability. So what does it mean, huh? Increase in vascular permeability. Kya hota hai? Normal blood vessel. See, this is the normal blood vessel. And these are the endothelial cells. Cells lining the blood vessels are the endothelial cells. So, ye aise hote hai. Aapka soch lo. Thik hai? It's like this. Okay? In a normal condition. Okay? This is endothelial cell is called okay so this is endothelial cells ठीक है अब इसको increase in vascular permeability में क्या होता है ये endothelial cells जो due to inflammation what happens हाँ this endothelial cells get separated from their neighboring endothelial cell. There is some gap created. Okay? Ye vasodilation mein is kuch gap create ho jate hai. Okay? Aapka? Thik hai? Ye kuch gap create ho jate hai. Okay? Ye kuch aapka gap create ho jate hai. And then what happens? Huh? क्या होता है जो whatever the fluids inside present वो बाहर आ जाता है the cells present inside comes out the protein present inside comes out okay तो उसको क्या कहते हैं हम normally तो कुछ नहीं बाहर आता है they are tightly packed right but in case of inflammation the one endothelial cell is separated from the other endothelial cell okay and so what do we see? We see fluids, we see cells, we see proteins, okay? So, this is known as exudate, okay? Ye yaad rakhna hai aapko. And its specific gravity is always greater than 1.020. This is the MCQ in exams, okay? Found and this is found exudate is found always when inflammation is present inflammation is present okay and this exudate jo aa jata hai exudate ke karan kya hota hai there is swelling there is edema or there is tumor okay fine theek hai Actually, this is called as endothelial cell contraction. Endothelial cell 
contraction. Now, let's see the most, some MCQs here, most characteristic, characteristic feature of acute inflammation. Now, we have studied acute inflammation so far in detail. Let's see what is the most common characteristic feature of acute inflammation. This is increase in vascular permeability. That is the most important characteristics. Okay. Then most common mechanism responsible for most common mechanism responsible for increase in vascular permeability. Just now we studied that is endothelial cell contraction okay endothelial cell contraction okay and what does the endothelial cell contraction involves typically involves it involves small blood vessels it involves the arterioles it involves the capillaries it involves the venules and venules are the most commonly involved okay so this is also an mcq okay now let's see the mechanism of increased vascular permeability we will be talking about the mechanism of increased vascular permeability mechanism of increase vascular permeability so kya hota hai endo endothelial cell contraction okay to usme kya hota hai there is immediate transient response okay to endothelial cell mein kya hota hai the response is immediate and transient okay transient means it lasts for only a little time okay so this endothelial cell contraction lasts only for a little time example thorn prick okay thorn prick okay then direct endothelial cell injury this direct endothelial cell injury is known as immediate sustained response okay immediate sustained response and the example is severe burn we have a microbiology correlation like septicemia okay that is direct endothelial cell injury okay then endothelial cell con retraction response okay so that is delayed and transient okay delayed and transient example bacterial infections and these are mostly cytokine mediated okay then next kya hai aapka start preparing for the neat mds from your home dr pranab academy of dental sciences online classes for all first second third and final year students Need MDS online test series, unlimited practice, and highest quality teaching. Affordable pricing. Download the app now. Endothelial cell damage leakage. So that is delayed, prolonged, and it occurs in late sun burn. Okay, let's revise again. So endothelial cell contraction these are the mechanism of increased vascular 
permeability we told that endothelial cell contraction is the most common but beside that there are direct endothelial cell injury endothelial cell retraction response and then endothelial cell damage leakage uh, endothelial cell damage not leakage this is deloid prolonged leakage leakage should be here okay i just have mistaken it and delayed transient response okay so these are the defined mechanisms of increased vascular permeability